Congratulations, you've made it to episode 10 of The Having Report. I am Brad Mines, your host. The price of Bitcoin is floating just under 10,000 American dollars. There are 85 days left until the next Bitcoin halving occurs. The Bitcoin mining hash rate is 110 exahashes, which equates to 10 to the power of 18. If you're familiar with the crypto space, you know that Binance is one of the largest crypto exchanges in the space. Now, apparently, they have been facing some difficulties, and CZ, the CEO, tweeted that they are releasing a detailed report of some of the issues that they've been facing over the last couple of days and they're going to publish that report sometime on Monday so that will be sometime today he says he also boasts that we are humbled to have the heaviest traffic in crypto and your support I can say that on Saturday they were having issues with the withdrawal on crypto privacy coin Monero but I can confirm that is no longer a problem many of us remember the scary hack that Binance faced a year or two ago that was very devastating for them but they're still here they have recovered they have funds that are there for these types of emergencies so your funds are always safe i personally do not have a issue with binance as a whole the worst criticism of binance i heard was from tony vase who is a longtime bitcoin og and bitcoin maximalist he says that binance is an unregistered security and he doesn't buy it for that reason at the same time that all of this is happening cointelegraph.com is actually named c CZ Binance on their number one spot on their first ever top 100 list. This article is written by Christina Corner. She is always reminding us that CZ is educating people of freedom of money and decentralization and the importance of it. Many people in this space are fond of CZ and are impressed where he has taken Binance Exchange from being a small startup to being one of the biggest crypto exchanges in the world. I really like CZ. The only critique I have of him though is when his exchange was hacked for 40 million. He actually entertained the idea of rolling back the Bitcoin blockchain. This challenges the entire idea that Bitcoin is a mutable ledger and got a lot of criticism for saying this and he actually came back and he said that he was wrong and that Bitcoin could never be changed. Just to put the whole thing to rest. Thanks for listening to The Having Report. I'm Brad Mines. Go to bradmines.com. Check me out on Twitter at BitFiWarrior and Instagram at Brad Mines. See you next time.